Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology and in this video we are going to talk about the physiology career in 2022 in India. Human physiology graduates, what about them? You know, if you fond of human body, if you want to learn about human body from A to Z and particularly human physiology in details, you can continue with your uh, human physiology journey, the study of human physiology right after plus two PCB. And you can start with graduation in human physiology, then masters in human physiology. Human physiology is a very fascinating and interesting subject. And here we are going to talk about the jobs that are available after the graduation of human physiology, post graduation of human physiology and PhD of human physiology and what you can do after the graduation masters and post graduation as well as the PhD of human physiology. All right, human physiology is a field uh, which is kind of stagnating from past many years because human physiology is something where a graduate of human physiology and master of human physiology need to read and understand everything regarding human physiology, regarding human body, how it works, anatomy, physiology and every single details. But still they are not considered as a part of any paramedic sector or anything related to the medical sciences because they don't have any knowledge regarding uh, the medicines and how the medicines work. So they are not no longer doctors. They are not at all someone who is going to work in the molecular level because they are reading human physiology in the macro scale. And people who read human physiology in the macro scale, apart from the human physiology graduates are doctors, MBBS. So after MBBS of five years of degree, a person can get to, you know, prescribe medicines and can be uh, involved with the direct human welfare. But human physiologists after qualifying BS seats for three years, masters for two years, total five years, even after masters are not allowed to do any of that and don't have any licensing examination at all. So that's why for me, you know, to me, human physiology is a bummer. It's a subject of bummer. And I believe this is a subject is not going to help you to get something that you want in your career. So either you want to go with a molecular level understanding of uh, something, go with microbiology, biotechnology, molecular biology, you still have public sector and private sector jobs for that. But for human physiology, there are job sector in the three different aspects. First of all, there's a job sector in the physiotherapy industry physiotherapy or physical therapy industry. The second one is in the uh, field of personal training or personal trainer industry. And the third, and the one, third one is there in the field of laboratory technician in the medical lab technology. Laboratory technician is even like people will recruit more laboratory technician from the field of molecular biology, biochemistry and microbiology compared to that of the human physiology. All the human physiology, uh, the human physiologists, they have a better understanding of how human uh, body works and all these other things but still they will not get the edge over the others so that's the idea now what are the top recruiters of human physiology so what is the stream of human physiology after uh, you know if you want to choose human physiology as a career after pcb plus two after pcb plus two if you want to go for the academic career which is a long uh, career then you can go with uh, the bsc in human physiology then msc in human physiology bsc for three years msc for two years and then qualify net get or any other uh, national level phd entrance examination and we prepare for the national level phd entrance examination you can check our online coaching details in the description and also contact the number that is showing up in the screen. So once you qualify that, then you can go with the PhD and that PhD term is the research. So as a researcher, you can continue the research work in human physiology. That's good one. Second thing is the uh, academic career that is as a lecturer. So once you qualify CSI and net LS or lectureship, you'll be provided the opportunity to teach in universities and colleges as a lecturer that you can do after the masters after PhD. So to become a lecturer in a permanent tenured position, you need to have a proper, you need to have a PhD as well as LS qualification with both you can apply. So that line is same. So after plus two PCB, three years in BSc, two years in MSc, five, then five to eight years in PhD. So 10 to 13 years. And after that, you will be able to mark your presence in the academic career or you can continue your career as a researcher in the field of human physiology. But apart from that, if you decide to move to the industrial sector job, there are very less jobs, specific job available in this field. One is the diagnostic technicians uh, and in that case, everybody will uh, be fighting for the same position. Biochemists, 
molecular biologists, microbiologists, biotechnologists all will be fighting for the position in le medical laboratory technology. Second one is as in the physical therapy or physiotherapy. But again in physiotherapy you need to read some portions extra and some extra courses need to be done right after graduation. So if you want to become a physiotherapist and want to become a laser therapist or laser physiotherapist uh, or skin art uh, therapist, in all these cases my personal recommendation to you will be to continue with the course right after graduation. So after graduation of uh, BSc in physio, uh, BSc in uh, the physical uh, like uh, human physiology, go with the physiotherapy diploma course and then get a job. This will land you better job, faster job with less time to spare. Because I have a personal experience of physical therapy, particularly the laser therapy and scanner therapy. So from that point of view, I'm speaking. Second thing is regarding the other. Uh, places like personal trainer. Personal trainer is a job which is again not something that the job will be released and you can apply for. The high net worth individuals and you know uh, celebrities and uh, entrepreneurs and other people who have plenty of money and they hire individuals for their own personal uh, trainer as their own personal trainer not as a gym trainer we're talking about but overall uh, physiological overall physical fitness trainer you can join there as a physical fitness trainer as well apart from that there is also a whole different area of physiology and that is a sports physiology sports physiology is a completely different uh, discipline and where you can also apply and appear as a sports physiologist and sports physiotherapist where uh, in different fields uh, of, of sports there is a requirement of physical therapies there is a requirement of physical trainers and therapies where you can appear from the field of physiotherapy from the field of human physiology. So these are the different disciplines where you can apply in a private sector jobs, not any public sector jobs there. Now what is the salary range expected by a graduate or postgraduate of human physiology individual? So in that case it's 3 lakh to 6 lakh per annum. At the very beginning it's near about 18,000 to 20,000 per month salary and slowly it will increase with experience. In physiotherapy, if you become a physiotherapist and you can do your own physiotherapy sessions in your own uh, clinic or you can go in people's house and you can do that there. Along with that, you can get a government sector job, a government job from a government hospital as a permanent position of physiotherapist there. Apart from that, uh, you can al always go with the private sector physiotherapist in different you can be connected to different private sector hospitals and private sector clinics in that way with the established factor of physiotherapy you can still get a very handsome salary of 60 to 80 thousand rupees per month and even more than that depending upon your own capacity and depending upon your own uh, you know channel and the how you treat people and how more people can join because it depends on your own clinic and how uh, the treatment is provided but physiotherapy is a funneled approach from the human phys uh, physical or human uh, physiology so physiotherapy is something special because human physiotherapy courses are always available bsc in physiotherapy is also already available diploma in physiotherapy is always available after plus 2 pcp so uh, there is always a competition between a person coming from the human physiology background to, to get into physiotherapy or a person coming directly from the physiotherapy background in their graduation. So there is this question will be there, but still there are opportunities out there. So what are the top recruiters of physiotherapy in India? It's hospitals, it's the private clinics, rehab centers, defense settings, orthopedic clinics, sports and fitness centers, and corporate houses. They will recruit and hire physiotherapy candidates, a particular physio candidate from physiology background they will hire. Now, particularly if you talk about the physiotherapy and recruiters of physiotherapy, then what are the top recruiters of physiotherapy in India? These are Defense Ministry of India, First Physio Clinic, and there are different hospitals like Apollo 40 hospitals and other hospitals. And there are also different physiotherapy clinics, physiotherapy brands, and also physiotherapy uh, brands with uh, franchisee systems, which is being opened in different cities now, where you can get their easy job. So that's all regarding the human physiology background. So what I can say my personal verdict about the human physiology is that this physiology background requires a lot of study of human body and how it works. Still, it's not worth it to read like MBBS because after MBBS still you get to get a be a doctor, become a doctor and still get to get higher handsome salary compared to the human physiology graduate. Second thing is that this sector should grow because it has a direct human welfare link that is human physiotherapy and personal trainer in sports physiology. 
but that also requires a person from human physiotherapy background and there are other physiotherapy courses separately available so why would they choose a human physiology graduate and not a human physiotherapy graduate so that's why a big question mark is also there and the third thing is that the private sector jobs are more the public sector jobs are comparatively less although in defense organization jobs are there and also in private uh, in public sector hospital jobs are there but still all right so now we'll discuss about the career option value for physiology so will it be good to go with physiology after bsc or msc physiology bsc msc let's find it out the preparation cost for physiology is moderate so i'll keep it yellow the demand in future is less right now it's not keeping up with the demand that we need to see that's why after doing bsc and msc in physiology people do phd in molecular biology cell biology and all the other interdisciplinary biological sciences and the salary as a fresher is also moderate not so good not so high not so less so it's a moderate amount of three to four lakh per year so keeping everything in mind the physiology has the highest recruitment in the physiotherapy background or paramedical sector background so better to do postgraduate diploma in that so keeping two yellow dots one red dot the score goes to five out of ten that's my verdict on physiology career in india physiology career options and job opportunities in india after 2022 out of 10 so i don't think it's a good fit I don't think you are going to get a good job, but if you want to become a researcher in, in human physiology field, then obviously the research zone is open and academic career is open like any human, any uh, life sciences background. But still with that, uh, human physiology is something that you can launch with human physiotherapy. So if you have a plan of going into human physiotherapy or sports physiology background, then choose human physiology. Otherwise, don't choose human physiology. So that's the career regarding human physiology in India in 2022. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.